Hey guys, Aviation1881 here, and I am doing a uh, airport update for my Windsor International Airport. It has been a while since I've done one, and I want to apologize for the slowdown in activity on my YouTube channel. But I've just been getting busy outside of uh, my aviation stuff, looking for work and stuff, um, getting a job. Uh, I've been rearranging things around in my house. I was just redid my room, and that's one of the reasons why I haven't done an update. It's because I moved my airport from one part to another part, and uh, I'm just trying to figure out a new table and a new setup for it. But I've decided that I would throw throw out an update for you guys, and just kind of quickly go over the planes and the routes. So I'm just gonna kind of get into it here. Um, right there, you can see the tail and the wings and the winglets is a Delta 767-300ER, which will be going to Paris Charles de Gaulle. United 757-200, which will be going to San Francisco. Delta E-170 will be going to New York JFK. United E-145 will be going to Chicago O'Hare. United A-320 will be going to Las Vegas. United 737-800 will be going to Los Angeles. WestJet 737-800 going to Calgary. WestJet 737-800 going to Vancouver. US Airways A319 going to Phoenix. Interjet A320 will be going to Cancun. There you can see the tail of my Southwest 737-800 which arrived from San Diego. And then Air Canada A320 just arrived from Vancouver. Right here we have a Volaris A320 which will be going to Mexico City. Over there is a Delta 737-700 which will be going to Atlanta. Uh, and before I continue I just wanted to say that I pre-ordered the Delta MD-90 and that the MD-90 will replace this 737 from Windsor to Atlanta, and then I'm going to put this 737-700 serving from Windsor to Orlando. Let's go over here to the other part of the terminal, or a different terminal. Just give you a quick shot down that way. Over there, the Green Air Canada Jazz just arrived from Charlotte Douglas. Yellow Air Canada Jazz. CRJ-200 will be going to Montreal, Quebec. Over here we have a Delta Connection um, ATR-72. I might be removing this plane off my airport. Not entirely sure yet. And then we have a United Express-AQ-400 going to Toronto Pearson. United Express Saab-340 which will be going to Cleveland. And then other, another United Saab 340 in the Continental Express or Continental Connection Library will be will be going to London, Ontario. And then right here we have a uh, NATO C-17, which was just doing a cargo run between Windsor and Tr Canadian Forces Trenton Air Force Base. And then I'm going to take you guys over this way. Um, this is the heavies terminal. And this is where I'm going to have most of my heavies parking. And over here is my small aircraft, the medium aircraft, and then more medium aircraft over there. Um, what I've decided to do with my heavy aircraft is I'm not going to be putting them all on my airport at once. It's going to really depend on the days that the aircraft are serving my airport. And then every day I'm going to change which heavies are on my airport. That way it's not too cluttered with huge planes and uh, a little bit more spacious looking. But I'll just go starting over here. Just arriving from London Heathrow is a United 767-300ER. Um, the Emirates A380 will be departing to Dubai shortly. United 777-200ER will be going to Munich, Germany. United 787-8 arrived from Warsaw, Poland. A United 747-400 will be going to Frankfurt. 
Singapore Airlines 777-300ER will be departing to Changi Airport shortly. And then on the other side, we have an Alitalia 777-200ER which will be going to Rome, Italy. Um, the planes that are parked at their gates on the other side of the terminal will be a bit harder to see, but right there is a uh, Air Canada A330-300 which will be going to Zurich. KLM A330-200, which arrived from Amsterdam. Air Canada 777-300ER over there, which will be going to Tokyo Narita. Just down there is a United 767-200, which arrived from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And then finally is my Cathay Pacific A340-600, which will be going to Hong Kong. Um, that's basically it for all my aircraft at Windsor. Um, I told you about my plans for my Delta. Um, I saw the uh, new American Airlines livery on the 777-300ER by Gemini Jets. That looks extremely nice. And uh, I wanted to get that, but since it doesn't serve from... I don't really have any American Heavy serving between Windsor and anywhere. Uh, most of those routes are pretty much dealt with by Air Canada, United, and other airlines. Um, hopefully, Gemini Jets will release a uh, 737-800 with the new American Airlines livery. And if they do, I will definitely be getting that to serve from my Windsor to Dallas-Fort Worth. Um, I do have a American 757-200 serving between Windsor in Fort Worth right now, but that model is on my Seattle Tacoma Airport serving to Fort Worth. Um, other than that, I don't really have many planes that I plan on getting for my Windsor International Airport. I am thinking about a few more Delta aircraft, maybe another Delta 737-700, and I'll have that serving someplace. Um, I do want to get a U.S. Airways CRJ-200 to serve between my airport and Charlotte, but I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, right now I'm going to keep my Air Canada Jazz on that route. Um, as for other routes, I can't really think of much right now. Um, I'll be doing an update for the Contrail Alliance sometime this week, um, but I figured it was important for me to get at least my update for my Windsor International Airport up for you guys that way my channel isn't going without an update for a while um, I hope you guys enjoyed this update don't forget to like and leave a comment below and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um, I enjoy having subscribers and I will see you guys in my next update